Hey bugs, it is body butter making day. I thought I'd carry you guys along with me while I make my basic body butter. Right now I'm just cutting open my owl. Cutting open my bags of butters from Wholesale Supplies Plus or Crafter's Choice. Opening up my bottles of oil. My mom is yelling at Kobe in the background, so if you hear that, then that's her. She says hi. You walk past, they can't see you. I don't think anyway. Might have saw your booty. <laughs> okay, so we have a scale here. Just need to turn it on. And I had to fulfill some orders. So, and basically everybody wanted body butter or either like a butter truffle, um, a bath truffle. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put all the oils in here, melt them down um, using a double boiler method. And um, I'll put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes and let it solidify, not to a solid, but um, at least be um, hard enough to whip. So, Let's tear this out. I have my handy dandy knife because cocoa butter is like the hardest thing on earth. <laughs> and this is the natural one, so it still has its original scent. And I'm doing this after a very long day. I had an event this morning. And it lasted till about 4 p.m. And right now it should be 5. I'm just like literally just getting home. I had to clean my hands so that I could get this done. And Kobe's like stalking me for the cocoa butter. But you can't have any, baby. And that's good right there. We're going to do our shea. And this already has my hands like coated. They were so dry, you guys. So, we'll do. Alright, let's tear this. Starting with our shea. And I like to do the double boiler um, for the simple fact that um, the shea can be a little persnickety if you, um, as most of you know, if you um, over like melt it or heat it or something like that. I don't want it to be grainy and plus the um, cocoa butter takes a very long time so we do it this way so it can be low and slow over time a little over low and slow over time and everything melts to perfection okay and now we're gonna go in with our soft oils just gonna grab me a napkin. My hands are getting very buttery, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Do you guys like my new ring? This one on my middle finger. It's actually made of um, bullhorn and it is shellac. So, and I'm dropping everything. So, it's shellac. So, that's cool. Okay, and we have some extra virgin here. The rest of this one.
and I'm not ignoring you guys I'm just trying to make this precise it really doesn't matter if I go over a little bit or not but I want to make sure I don't anyway and then we have some caster which I need to replenish okay avocado stuff is amazing for your skin. I love it in everything. But you guys already knew that because it's in my lip balm and lip butters. Just a tad bit more. There we go. And then we have some glycerin. I don't really measure this. It's just how much ever I feel like putting in. This is great for the skin. It draws moisture to it. And we also have some vitamin E. Um, but that's going in um, after it's melted and cooled down before we put it into the freezer. So I'm going to put this on the double boiler. And I will come back to you guys after it has solidified and we're ready to whip and pipe into our containers. Be back. Hey bugs, we're back. It's been about maybe 45 minutes. Um, I had them sitting out for a while just to cool before I scented all of them. This one is actually um, unscented and we're going to pipe using the 6B uh, Wilton tip and this is an open star tip and it's large as you can see and this is a different bag that I use from um, my soaping so I'm going to flip this back so it's propelled and set it to the side and we're going to whip this up. And as you can see, it still has a little bit of liquid left in there. And that's what I meant. So we'll see how it whips. And if it's not the consistency that I want, then we'll put it back in the freezer for a little while longer. And this is about a good consistency. I do, however, need to scrape off the little corners down here. And I need a new top for my spoon. Because these have scents on them. I'm just going to switch it out with a different one. Okay, I'm back. And I think yeah, I need to be honest. I'm going crazy, you guys. I have a brand new spatula right here. And it's a little Christmas one, isn't it cute? I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. It was on sale, actually. So Let's get in here with this little baby spatula. Oh, I hardened back up. This is the nature of 
the um, butters when it is cold and this container is still really cold so I'm gonna whip this up some more if I can Now let's act quickly. <laughs> Get down in these crevices and bring that up to the top. And these little pieces are hard, but they're semi soft. It's just easier to pull them from the bottom to the top to make sure everything is all incorporated well. Okay. And once again, one more whip up. take our spoon here and we're gonna fill up our piping bag oh this smells amazing and FYI I do not ooh, I do not put any um, colorants whatsoever, natural or not, um, inside of my butters at all. It doesn't matter if it's a body butter, hair butter, um, anything like that. The lip butters, however, that's a different story. But just the, um, and that's only for aesthetic reasons. But these I want to remain um, as natural or semi-natural as possible because I don't always use essential oils. Um, sometimes I use fragrances depending on what the customer asks for because these are uh, made to order. Sometimes I make up a couple if I have an event, but other than that, um, I don't just have butters laying around. scrape the rest of this goodness as much as I can get it out of here with this spoon and then we're going to come back with our spatula. gonna get this bowl clean yet All right I think that's about as much as I'm gonna get out of here so I'm gonna set all this stuff to the side I'm gonna keep that um, hand mixer the way that it is because I have more butters to whip up I'm just gonna do these on camera so weigh that Tear it out. I'm going to try to squeeze um, an even amount 
between, um, I had two orders for this, two different people for this particular one. So I'm going to try to squeeze out as much of this I can evenly into each container. And next time I put this in a seal bag so that my piping bag can stay clean. So let's start with this one and I know about how much I want to put in here. This stuff is like frozen. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it off of this for right now. This is a pain in the butt. Okay. Do a little tap down. Now let's see how we can do this one. I have that same one out. need a new um, machine because this one acts so crazy sometimes. Okay, once again, I'll take it off. Off of there. We'll tap down. Okay, and the rest I'll squeeze into this container. I promise you I'm a little better at piping than what it looks. <laughs> okay. And these are going to go back into the fridge um, just to stay cool. So, here we go. And then we'll add our label and we'll add our label and our um, top to this. And then we're done. So, Thank you guys for watching, and as always, be well and stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now. There you have it, folks. Another fine creation from Body Garbage. If you like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to purchase anything that's available in my Etsy, please follow the link down below. As always, be well and stay blessed. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, bye for now.